Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the third video of Symbolic Python to do some math. So in this particular one, we're going to be looking at symbolic integration. So I've got three different integral problems up here that we're going to look at. Um, we're just going to do a, a indefinite integral and then a definite integral and then a very challenging in or challenging definite integral. So let's start like civilized people. We're going to be doing symbolic calculation. So I want SymPy. Now remember, I want symbolic calculation, especially on this first one, because I want a function in terms of symbols out. This guy and this guy, I could do numerically and get a really good approximation for. Symbolically should actually do the symbolic calculation in the background and use the fundamental theorem of calculus to actually evaluate these for me. Um, so in some sense, these will give you the exact answers when we do it in SymPy. Whereas in NumPy, if I were to do these two, I would be getting approximate answers that are just darn good. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna start with a symbol and I'm gonna define my function sp.exp of four times x. Okay, so that's my function. The integral that I'm gonna get, I'll just call it i just for kicks, is sp. And if I just start typing, look at that, integrate is right there. Okay, I'm gonna send in the function. I'm gonna tell it with respect to x and see what happens. And sure enough, the integral of e to the 4x is e to the 4x all divided by four. So it works. Okay, well, what if I do the definite integral? So let's do sp dot integrate of f with, now I'm gonna send it a list of things. I'm sorry, not a list, a tuple of things. So tuples are in parentheses here. That's gonna be x from zero to three. Okay, and it, it didn't do anything. So here, let's, let's clean this up. This is um, integral of f of x colon, And then this is going to be integral of f of x from 0 to 3. So this is the definite integral. And I just call it i03. Okay, and it actually gave me a symbolic answer like this. So negative 1 fourth plus e to the 12th all divided by 4. That's not always super helpful. So one thing you can do is do sp dot capital N. Capital N will convert it to a numerical answer. So basically that changes it from a symbolic answer, which is maybe not human readable, to a numerical answer, which is maybe human readable. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna show both of them here just so you can see the difference, compare and contrast. Okay, so there's the first answer, which is the exact answer. That's what you would get on paper. And this is the numerical answer, which is what you would get if you actually shoved this thing into a programming language like Python or into a calculator. Okay, now the last integral is gonna be a little bit more fun. So I'm gonna define my function g as sp dot exp of negative x to the second. Now, if you stop and think about this for a second, this guy doesn't have a nice antiderivative. He just doesn't, right? So let's see if we can integrate him anyway. Um, I will call my integral, uh, we're gonna call it s sure, because S kind of looks like an integral symbol, sp dot integrate. Okay, I'm going to send the function g in, and I'm going to do a tuple just like I did up here. I'm going to say I want x to go from, well, minus infinity. Technically, that's a limit, but there is a symbolic minus infinity. So I'm going to do negative sp dot, and somebody has a sense of humor here, oo. That's not a zero, zero, that's a lowercase o followed by a lowercase o. Those are infinities. And if you kind of blur your eyes, those o's look like they're sitting together and those are infinities. All right, well, whatever. Somebody's got a sense of humor. So see what we get. And it gives us that the answer is square root of pi, which I love this result. It's just such a beautiful little result. If we 
change that to a numerical, I can calculate what square root of pi is. I just as well could have come down here and said import math and done math.sqrt of math.pi. And I get the exact same thing. That's all perfectly well and good. Okay. So I think that's going to be it for this quick little integration video. Um, I'm going to move on from there if you want to keep watching.